Cincinnati Reds left Sarasota about five years ago, but their Hall of Fame broadcaster still has his heart here on the Sun Coast. ABC 7's Don Brennan caught up with him recently. Yeah, uh, Scott, definitely. Marty Brennan loved it here. Yeah. He was devastated when they left, but uh, over a Hall of Fame career that spanned five decades, he's learned to roll with the punches. Swung on, long shot, into deep left field, rolls his back, and that ball is gone. A home run. Henry Aaron has just tied Babe Ruth's home run record of 714. That was the first inning of the very first game Marty Brenneman ever called for the Cincinnati Reds, opening day 1974. I'm semi-conscious anyway because I'm overwhelmed by the crowd. I got through the call, and, I, and in retrospect, I felt like it was not too bad for a young guy in his first big league game. Soon after that moment, his broadcast partner, veteran Joe Nuxall, asked Marty a very poignant question. Nuxall turns to me and he said, I, I don't believe it. I said, what are you, he said, what are you going to do for an encore now? He said, you start off with Aaron's record-tying home run. Marty did have an encore, however, a 42-year Hall of Fame career, and they've all been with the Reds. He has called some of the most memorable moments, and he's still going strong. Shaw kicks, and he fires. Rose Wayne. There it is, there it is. Get out. Get out. All right. Hit number 41, 92. Hit number 41, 92. A line drive. He'll look back at the great moments, the controversial moments, and in the end, Proud to have done it his way and in one place. I love the city of Cincinnati. The city of Cincinnati has been good to me. I'm going to be very prideful of the fact that I will end it exactly where I started. He finds it hard to believe that a stretch like his or his contemporaries will happen again. I don't know that young guys would be willing to uh, to stay in one city for that long. One of the young broadcasters he's talking about is Tom Brenneman, his son. And Reds owner Bob Castellini had it in his mind to get the two working together. God bless him, he jumped through a lot of hoops. Bob did personally to get, get the Diamondback ownership to allow Tom to get out of his contract. He came back and he's, he, he's thrilled to be home. His sign off after a Reds win speaks volumes. And this one below because in Marty Brenneman, this one does in fact belong to the Reds, and only the Reds. And Marty says he'll always, his heart will always remain here on the Sun Coast, especially Siesta Key, where he lives when he can. He stops by there. And uh, thanks to Dave Stewart at Captain Kurtz, who has a pipeline of famous people. He knows everybody, and Marty's a friend of his, right. and he's still going strong, yeah, and he awesome. looks great.